Christopher Bauda and Robert Henke, you're from Germany and for the Volvo Art Session you have created an amazing installation that blends uh, music with uh, kinetic light objects. Can you maybe um, describe what you have made? Well, um, as you said, we combine sound and moving lights to create a three-dimensional object in space that is an installation, it's a sculpture, it's a concert and it's a well, very immersive experience. It is really, a, it is an immersive experience. I've seen it for the first time and I was blown away. Also the sound quality, it was just amazing. How long does it take you to prepare such an installation? Well, in general, this is years of uh, experimentation on Robert's side and on my side, which comes together to uh, do such a performance and installation. For the actual piece here, we had four days, I think, in Berlin. We were rehearsing and then we had another two days here. But we already had prepared the whole piece before that. So, yeah, it's a couple of weeks in total, I guess. And are you never nervous that from the technical aspect um, something wouldn't work? Well, it's a technology that, that we produce, that my company is producing, so of course it never fails, so I'm, I'm never worried about anything, actually. And the software I'm using, I, I partly co-developed, so I'm also not nervous. But no, of course things can fail, but uh, when you perform and do such things for a long time, and it's um, both more than 20 years of experience, you know how to build things in such a way that they work. How did you perceive the audience uh, reaction? It was a very special moment during the show. Yeah, it was very interesting because we have this uh, one like, ah, moment when the lights turn on and I think a lot of people thought it's the end of the performance already. So there was like applause in the middle and applause in the end and I think everyone was very excited. And the interesting part is that uh, you should never underestimate the capabilities uh, of your audience. So this piece is demanding, this piece is not only friendly, this piece has moments which are scary, which are very massive and loud, but it has also moments of incredible intricate and quiet beauty. And you need both. You need the extremes to be able to really touch people's emotion. And at the end, what counts in the art is to create an emotion. So the Volvo Art Session is very unique in the world. How do you like this event? I think it's a very interesting mix of, it's a lot of technology, of course, cars uh, and art. And it's a very mixed audience, very young audience. And people were very excited about what we're doing. So I think it's a good match. What kind of memories will you take back home to Germany of those two or three days here in, spent in Zurich? This amazing sound system, which uh, I was able to use here, um, it's a German company who I really like and I was very happy to see their speakers here because uh, my, the loudspeakers are my canvas and if I can use such a sound system I can really do something that is overwhelming and, and clear and precise and um, that's where my work starts to shine so I was very happy to have this opportunity here. If you look into the future is there any technology, any kind of new technology that you would like to undo? Undo? No, I'm, I'm very excited about all new developments. I'm very critical about them, so I'm not like an early adopter. First I watch what's, what's coming, and if it's an, any use, I can use it for something or create my art or, or develop further what I'm doing. And if I like it, I will use it, so there's nothing I would like to undo about it. Never afraid that we're getting too dependent on technology? Well, um, to answer your previous question, I would like to undo Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So technical ah, oh, you mean well, the, yes. the bomb? Um, yes, I mean the, the whole history of Silicon Valley and all the technologies we use these days is military history. Um, without the military, nothing. This camera wouldn't exist. And um, that's uh, something we have to face as artists working in the digital domain. Uh, and I find it difficult, uh, but I don't have an answer to this. So, Is there any area where you would wish for a faster technological progress, digital <laughs> progress? Computer speed, of course. Yeah, processing power, that we can always use more. But it's actually quite comfortable now. When I started 15 years ago, we we're always struggling to get the next update and more speed. Today it's actually quite comfortable to have. Christopher Robert, herzlichen Dank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.